Welcome. Today we're going to discuss the technique circling the storm, its execution, some of the things that can go wrong during its execution, things to compensate for those issues, and things you should know about the technique in general. Um, like always, our techniques typically teach the short, middle, or long version. Uh, long six has the long version of the technique. Today we're going to be sticking to the middle version of the technique. So let's start with the attack. The attack is a straight thrust with the stick, with the right foot forward, high. Uh, we have a low one where we do clipping the storm, where we deal with it when it's coming low. This one's going to be coming high as if it's coming to my throat. So the first thing we want to do is obviously divert the weapon away from us. So as he comes in, I want to start diverting that so it's nowhere near me. Now keep in mind we're dealing with being outside the arm. The rule is to generally be at or above the elbow. That doesn't mean make contact there, obviously we have to divert this as soon as I can, but it does mean I have to end there so that I don't eat the elbow because I'm only focused on the stick, or storm as we call it in Cambo. So as he comes in, we're going to establish our base, get that block, and now if you notice the bottom is open, so basically this is flashing maze, where he comes in with the punch and we take the high line, but now he has a stick in his hand and we're going to take the low line. So just like flashing maze, I don't want to hit without a base. Right where I'm doing this as I'm stepping through. If you want, you can go check out that video. I want to do the same thing here with the elbow. I want to hit and then step through. I don't want to glance. Remember, this is a major. So I want to have a base and I want to make sure I hit. Now, notice what I did with my left hand. I dropped it. You want to make sure that this hand stays up checking. Anytime I hit low, I check high. When we do the second part, again, we're hitting high, so we're going to be checking low. Um, we're going to switch places so you can see the second part. He comes in, I have my block, I hit, and again, I'm going to step, establish my base, and then torque into this. If he was a lot taller than me, or I was very short, or vice versa, I might not get to the head, so I might want to go low, so then I would have to switch my check. My check would have to go high while I'm hitting low, right? But right now we're hitting, my check is low in case he's trying to come back with an elbow. I have a check, and I'm hitting to the head. So here we're going to do basically Prance of the Tiger on a horizontal instead of a vertical where I'm going to hop switch and deliver a heel pump with the right hand across to the face. The idea here, again, just like we're doing a fatal deviation, I'm trying to hit to the side of the jaw, start turning his head to the side. And this is all done, again, with a base. If you notice, a lot of this technique is everything established your base. I don't want to be hitting in the air, I don't have power, and I don't have the proper mechanics. So I want to make sure I'm settled into my strike. From here we're just going to bend them back by pushing our elbow into them and controlling the jaw. This is similar to what we do in circling destruction or some of our other techniques, but the idea is to expose the bottom so we can take advantage of it with our foot and our hand. Now keep in mind just because we're showing you both versions doesn't mean you have to do both versions. I could just as easily scoop and get out or I could just as easily do the hand and cover out but the technique's gonna be doing both. So from here, I bend him back, I scoop, and then we do our shape of the crane, got all five fingers together, put the crane, and come in from the back. And remember, just like at the beginning when we were doing with the arms, get my hands low, my other hand's checking high. From here is where long six continues into other stuff, but again, we're only doing the middle version of the technique, so we're gonna be covering out from that instance. But Keep in mind that just as easily, we could go into a standard extension if you wanted to, or whatever else you decide to do. So let's do it one more time. He steps in, we get our block, divert the weapon, establish your base at or above the elbow. Don't glance, this is a major. I want to hit, pull through, hit with the elbow. Again, my hand's checking low if I'm hitting high. Hop switch to do the heel palm. Control the height by anchoring my elbow. Take the low line, take the low line, keep the height cover, and cover out if you choose. We'll do it one more time from this angle without the explanation so you can see it. Up. We hope this video helps you. Thank you very much.